As we're laying back, start with just a couple of really good relaxing breaths. Take this moment to be with the lungs. Breath's really trying to expand, huge inhales. Nice, good, long exhales. And feel how this breath wants to flow for you today. Starting to connect with our sense of touch just a little bit. Let's take our hands up and we're going to just rub the palms together just softly. It's not a sense of trying to warm up our hands, but it's a sense of trying to feel our nerves connecting with our skin. A couple of easy, soft rubs. And eventually you choose maybe the hands end up over the eyes. Maybe one ends up on the heart and one kind of towards belly and hips. And just let it rest down. And try to feel the breath flowing really deeply here. Feel our body relaxing. As we're traveling super deeply inward, we're going to start to imagine we're beginning to sense a little seed clear down inside of our belly. And this seed is something that on the first day of our life started off super pure, super innocent. It represented pure love, pure hope, pure trust. And little by little, as we had more experiences in our life, it's like we started to create a little shell, nice and hard around it. It started to harden the seed, and it started to create conditions to those things. It's only safe to love under this condition. I can only trust this type of person. We started to create all sorts of conditions, and that's like the hard shell around the seed. So our idea in class today is imagining that through our movement, through our breath, and even <coughs> through trying things that are new that make us actually have to challenge the trust a little bit, through these things, we allow ourselves to kind of start to crack that hard shell open, returning back to the softness of that seed. Realizing those defense mechanisms were good at one point, maybe we don't need them anymore. So that's the intention that will lead us into our practice. Just allow yourself to have fun, to love your body, and to love this chance to move. So with that idea to get us started, let's take some of our initial stretches. Arms start to extend all the way to the back of the wall. Shoulders will begin to wiggle to the right. Shoulders go to the left. Take it a couple of times. Almost like we're trying to crack this first part of the shell, cracking open tightness in the shoulder, tightness in the ribs. back through the center, right knee comes into the chest, give it a good hug, pull it in. Sometimes we'll do little ankle rolls here. That feels nice, right leg starts to extend up to the sky, give it that first stretch of the day. Length going on. Good, 
that softening of the breath continuing to flow through the belly. For a huge inhale. With our exhale, right heel hooks onto back left side. Once it's hooked, start to fly the shin or tightening in. Feel that right hip getting the first opener. Feel the stretch, feel the space. Another good breath flows in. And out. Leg reaches back up to sky as we release. Drop it all the way down. Left knee comes in. Give it a couple of ankle circles if that feels you small. Leg is welcome to start extending up to sky. Patients creating space. Other breath gets to flow into our system. Nice exhale. Put the scale back right. Slide the shin in. the sides communicate. Sometimes it's to the left or the right that's the major physical culprit to that hardness of the shell. So this is the one, breathe into it. Another huge inhale. Nice exhale. Breathe the leg out. We'll start to drop it down. We're sitting up only enough that the fabric can start to slide a little bit past the armpit area and lay back again. So from that support, let's start to head to a gentle back bend. If you head here and you want more, come back up, slip even more fabric down to the waist or down to the hips, that's fine. Whatever version feels really useful, just a couple of breaths. Eventually gripping back up high, the head comes in. As we sit up, we stretch over our two straight legs. Let this be a moment for some neck tension to release. So let the head roll left and right. Start to slide the heels in a bit closer to glutes, the knees going wide, as wide as the fabric will allow. 
get the heels in as close to glutes as you can, and then start scooting the elbows forward past the front end of the fabric. Scoot all the way up to shoulders, and then tucking the chin in, hands go behind the back of the head. Feel that nice curled in shape, like the shape of a seed. Feel the neck stretching, the elbows back muscles stretching. Good inhale, nice exhale, hands release, shoulders slip back inside, kick the feet free off the front, arms come all the way behind, and let's invert, so hook the thumbs on the back of the fabric, push it down to about where the pant line is, keep it in place locked there as you head backwards, re-gripping on. Good. From this spot, let the legs go super wide as you tilt all the way back. Great ankles wrap. Safe to let go. Good. Listen to the qualities your body, your seed needs to make. Maybe it needs some energizing, like a crunch. Maybe the fabric's on the wrong spot and you want to come up and readjust. Find a better spot. Maybe there's a twist or clasping hands behind your back for a nice shoulder opener. So many options. Explore them, breathe into them. Give us time that the majority of us will have space to stretch and open. So remember, get yep, my legs wide. I'm guiding those that are up into a gentle neck stretch. Don't feel like you're pressured to come out if you're still just relaxing. So those that are out, letting the elbows hook, shoulders go forward. Start to let the shoulders, the head go over toward the right shoulder. And head over to the left shoulder. So think back and forth a couple of times so that Help some of that neck tightness. As we 
it all the way up tall. Looks like we're all out at this point. Let's bunch up fabric toward the front door side. The shoulder that's toward the mountains, toward that back wall, let that shoulder be the arm that stretches open. Or that be the hand that is the circle around the back side of the head. Coming toward a nice spinal twist. Switch your grip up. Second, so hands just, that's it. And then the other one, that's it. Notice here how you have control over how deep the spinal twist is. However deep you're taking it, make sure the spine is stacked upright first. And that stacked spine is where we rotate those back muscles. Let's be in it for another good inhale. Nice exhale. Release. Bunch it up to back door. Again, it's the shoulder that opens to mountain. That's the arm that extends open or comes to the back side of the head. Take another huge inhale. Nice exhale. As we release forward, we're going to head up and out. So bunch up the fabric on both sides. Lift the hips up. We're standing on the ground. And we're going to take the fabric right under our shoulder blades. This helps to prevent it from getting up into the armpits where it'll cut off some circulation. So right under shoulder blades. For this moment, walk back to take all the slack out. Continuing to lean into it, let's walk our hips all the way forward. And then take one step back, so it's feet under front line at first. So I'm going to show this one first so you have an idea of what we're doing. And then we're going to make sure to do it all together, so that way um, hips don't bump into each other or whatever. So the idea, it looks like this. I do a huge hula hoop circle. My knees are soft and I end up doing a nice huge loop. Okay. So we're all going to circle toward the door, the front door side first. So when you're ready, we're going to take it three, two, one, go. We're circling five and around. Four. Three. So that massage on the feet. Two. One, when you get to the back, pause. Good. We're going to take five to the other side, starting in three, two, one, go. Five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Straighten the legs back. Let the arms open. We're taking another gentle back bend. Well, that massage like a roller of the fabric of our back. The chin softens up. Let's walk the feet forward a couple of steps until it's plumb line back of your fabric. So from here, allow right leg to extend out straight. We're gonna do three leg kicks on the third one. We're trying to catch our leg up high. So, kicking up for three, two, and let's see if you can catch it. One, take a full of it with that good hamstring. Even if you're grabbing closer to thigh, that's fine. Good, take right ankle to left thigh. Relax the hip open. So that means muscular effort of the core has to release. We're dropping our hips back down. Good. Yeah, notice that breath that I got. That's what that's the right sound for this one. This is like, oh, we're getting good to that. Good. So let's drop right foot to the floor. Let's 
slide the left heel long. Three kicks, going three, two, one, try to catch. Good, ankle to thigh. Remember the core releases for this part. More breath, let it flow in, let it relax out. As we drop the foot back to the ground, what we're going to try to do is an explosive core movement, trying to get both legs wrapped around the right strand. So it looks like this, I come up, oops, up, and both legs wrap. For a little while, it's like you're a little baby being held in a cradle. See if you can get there. Absolutely fine if you're not there. Good. Beautiful. Fun trying if not there. If you are here, so walk your hand with this pole that's behind your back. Start to slide your back a little bit higher up. And no, they do look actually awesome. So your knees to it and you're there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But instead of crossing the one leg forward, both legs go to the back. Yeah, you're close. You're super close. Keep on trying. Okay, so now it's going to be the left hand that grabs to the opposite strand. And then you just sit into a sweep. Yeah. Just keep on pulling up. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> That's, you remind me of one of those photos, like on Pinterest, that it's like, nailed it. <laughs> awesome. Yep, left hand reaches, and then you're here. Let's see. Good. Beautiful. So I'm going to make us do a core thing before we come up and try to switch sides for that. So for this core thing, slide back to the knees. What we're going to do is try to hold our back right above the ground. Just do it as long as you can, and then you have to release. Oh, just let it release, slip down the ankles. Good. Sounds really hard, so just, we'll do another round of that, so you'll get another chance. Imagine if you had to add a number of counts that you did this time, maybe it was like five counts, like five, four, three, two, one, and then you dropped. See if next time you can do like 10 or whatever, whatever it is. Just let your, I like to let my legs just swing a little bit, just kind of, Get that good loosening, that softening quality again. Sometimes we have to try really weird hard things before it starts to feel really good. Before that shell is, is kind of brought to that vulnerable spot where it's like, okay, I guess I'm safe to release. Good. So let's go ahead and drop legs to the ground. I'm going to let you have a chance to do as many pull-ups as you want. Coming back up to stand. So we're going to apply left and right. Plant the feet. You get to choose. Maybe you're going for five, maybe ten. Eventually coming up with your red. Good. So whenever we're up, let's take our back around shoulder blades. Let's rock all the way back, taking sock out. This one's another one, hip under plumb line. Once we're here, let's tilt toe our feet as wide as we can get them. And then allow yourself to shift over to our front door side. So one leg is straight, one leg is bent. Good. Rest the weight down into it for a couple of breaths. And switch.
Good. Come right back through the center. Hands on each um, inner knee, inner thigh area. Just try to push it a little bit wider. It's like a frog leg position. Good. And feet can start to come back together. We're going to have a second try. So sometimes it's more of a mental thing, trying to just figure out what our body's supposed to do. So second try this time, let's try to wrap legs around the left side. Come up to the point where it feels like you're a little baby, falling in a cradle. Yeah. Swap your hands up a little bit. Pull your up a hair. It'll feel comfortable. You got it. Yeah. Okay. Right. So when you're ready to go up higher, walk your hands up the side and on your back. And it's going to be right hand that has the switch. And you turn it in your seat. <laughs> yeah. Look at us. Feel that nice massage, icy down to do with all sorts of goodies right there. <sighs> so if you're ready for our, our little core trial thing, <laughs> just kind of pick a number in your mind already. I want to try to do a quick count down of 10 or 15 or whatever it is, whatever you're trying to do to beat your last time. Slip it under the knees, try to hold the breath above the ground. Keep breathing. Only dropping when you need to slip it back down the feet. Good work, guys. It is tight on knees for sure on that skin. So let yourself rock feet left and right when you're there. Resting on the ground. Keep your left foot in, right foot comes toward you. Grab onto it, pump that hamstring out. Just a soft, easy open. travels all the way across the body for a nice spinal And again, that quality of softening. So head out of this side, take the right foot into the fabric. Left leg starts to unwind, straight leg toward us, grab on, hamstring stretch. Hey baby, the knee bends to the side, left hand grabs the foot. Maybe the knee can open and touch the floor, so then this right leg swings wide. Kind of pushing into the fabric, the hip lifts off the ground, that right hip a little bit. Good. Relax, release. The bent left knee heads across the body, twist. Again, quality of softly. Sometimes the hard things make us hard. But we don't have to accept all of those qualities into us. We can choose to stay soft in those areas that we choose. Good, so heading out, feet are both back in. Hands are on the floor by the hips. Lift the hips up off the ground, stay in that high bridge pose. 
And then frog legs. So the knees bend up to the side, he'll slide in, straighten back up. Take another nine and eight, seven, six, five, keep breathing, four, three, two, one. Good, relax the hips down, let the feet swing two or three times, left and right, that softening quality back to the hips. Good. So starting to release out, do a little crunch to grab the fabric. Another chance to do pull-ups if you wish, as you come back up to stand. Many options to play. Good. And once you're up, let's take our straddle back inversion. So fabric back behind you. Start to Use just your thumbs sliding in. So instead, take your hands all the way behind, all the way behind. So um, put it in the fabric in front of your shoulders. There you go. Okay, so now it's thumbs. Yeah, it'll just make a difference because otherwise it'll be fingers and then like you have a chance of getting your fingers caught. So, so just thumbs hugging in the thumbs and that palm is trying to push it right against sacrum. Keep it there, don't let it slip up. So pressure there, one foot steps back, bend the knees. Tiptoe forward, just three little baby steps. This takes you under plumb line, that way we won't swing. Good, hands up, knees wide, wrap the feet. And once you've got the feet wrapped, you're safe to hang. Yeah, feet wider though. So build, switch, switch now. Going inside, you can go out fast if you got it. Beautiful. I know it's a lot of core work. <laughs> You're doing awesome. Good. Yep. <laughs> okay, and the only thing that'll that'll save you from the swing like crazy is just coming under pump line, but you did awesome. <laughs> Good. It's like a little bit more of the core effort to get there, but you got it. Sometimes hanging is that soft quality that our body's asking for. Sometimes we want to have a playful quality. So those that want to do a playful quality, there is a handstand you can do here. Plant the hands right under your shoulders. Make sure the toes even are wrapped. And then at the same time that you straighten the arms, straighten the legs up, squeeze the legs together. Good. Squeeze legs together. Inner thigh. Action going on. That's it. Got it. You could even leave the legs straight, staying upside down when you release the hands. That's safe. You can swing a little bit, do crunches there, or return back to that frog leg like we had. All fun areas to play with. Notice how and what it takes to add that quality of softening in those moments when you're ready.
sometimes it's fun to take the hands behind the head, bend the right knee, and then start to sway the elbows over toward that right knee. Huge side body stretch. And then you can straighten the right leg, bend the left knee, all the way over to left. Good. This is our recovery time. So different people require different amounts of time just laying back here. Sometimes you feel the difference, like you can tell in your ears that there's some pressure that's coming out. Sometimes it's more just like, okay, I just need a couple of breaths, otherwise I'm gonna be dizzy. So just keep on listening, keep on relaxing here, recovering. You help me know when you're ready to move on by walking back to stand up on your own but keep on recovering as long as it takes. We're upside down for several minutes there, so you guys did awesome. Great. More or less we're here. If you're still recovering, just give it a couple more breaths. When you're happy, take your right ankle inside, have a cup in front of you. I make sure that my head's not too far behind the plumb line. It's only like two or three inches. So I kind of pump right up almost to it. And then some options here. You could do the easy option to slide the hands down. Nice easy hamstring stretch, just part close to thigh. Or maybe after a couple of breaths of that, you want to do the splits today, slide the hands up, sink the weight forward. Good. That intuitive knowing your standing foot will direct the angle that you're going forward. So just shift where your standing foot is and that'll change your angle completely. the weight over standing leg we take a twist the left hand grabs onto right side we try to invite the leg to cross over the body over toward that left top corner of the mat so lots of activity in that arm strength right arm opens up to the twist behind us beautiful Return forward. Now we're gripping both hands on left side. Rotate your standing toes to the left. Slide the left hand up, the right hand down. If this is enough opening, just stay. If you want to split forward, go right ahead. Beautiful, weight back, face forward. Another just a breath or two with your hamstring, either lean forward or another mini splits. I'm just gonna face this way for this next one so you guys can copy exactly what I do. Good. Heart up, hands up. This time we're turning it into a swing, so make sure you're in that good spot where you won't swing like crazy, and then step both feet in, slip down to your spine. You're sitting on your glutes. So this is one where it does take some space side to side. So if you've got your neighbors going, you can take a little break, even drop your feet down for a little hip break. If you're the first round going, then go with me. So we're gripping onto this right pole, and then hiking to the side. So fast. Sorry, left pull. <laughs> Copy me. From here, extend out. Top hand is gripping up high. Good. Okay. 
It's easy for this next transition to have that left hand going down so that the right foot can find the fabric and then push into it like a big star pose. And the last step is the one you'll want to watch for a moment. I switch my hands and then that top leg rotates to the back while pumping at my knee. Get that. When you're ready to go back inside, just grab that on, slide the leg in, and you're sweeping. Okay, those that did not do it, left side, curl into a little fetal position and extend out. Do that one hip step on top of the other. Good, star, hand can go down, top foot goes up, push into it. For that Peter Pan, switch the grip. Then the top leg comes to the back of the knee as you rotate behind. You got it. Grab on, step back in. And we can pop back out. Well, that good massage, guys. I'll take the goodies. Beautiful. <sighs> We're out, left ankle. Good. So make sure you're not too far behind plumb line, heart down, or hands up, splits forward. Well, how nice it is to stretch and soften, especially after that deep massage. It's like we just took a roller all around our thighs. Don't worry, we got another side. So no matter how you did, you have another side to play with. Another breath right here. And shift weight over standing leg. Right hand grabs left. Pull it so that it crosses over the body. And left hand starts to rotate open. Good. Returning forward. Both hands grip on right side. From the standing toes to the right. Right hand up, left hand down. You can stay or sink more weight forward. on each side, another little mini splits, just another chance to be forward with the hamstring. I'm gonna switch side again, just make it easier. Good. As we come up, make sure that you're under plumb line so you can do a little, or you're, you're like your balance is under plumb line. So you do a little test to make sure you don't swing at that point, just step in, slide down to hips. Good. So the first half, go with me. The second half, you're going to have a chance in a moment. So first half, we're grabbing onto the true right side. <laughs> Hike over, fetal position. Extend bottom hand, place out. You can keep the hand floating or find the floor. The top leg finds fabric, push it to a star. And then switch the grip. That top leg rotates to the back wall side. Comes to the knee for flying. Once you've got the, yourself finished, grab back on. Come up. Good. So, gripping right side. Fetal position. Extend out. You score or not? I know it's so, so far <laughs> oriented. <laughs> Switch the grip, flip the leg. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> so it was the other leg that flips. <laughs> one that was on top. The one that's up right now. That one goes back. Yep. And then just bring it to the 
Uh, you're pointing to the back wall. Yeah, flip your hands. That's it. Yep, you got it. Yay! <laughs> and the brain's like, what are you? <laughs> Good. So those that want another chance, go right ahead. Those that are happy, you can take a hip thing. Just take yourself right under the palm line. Fabric right on the hip bones. If you want another chance? Kind of stay up. If you need my help, let me know. I'll watch. Yep. So keep up position. Extend out. Yep. Top legs eleven times the fabric. I have to flip back. Switch the grip, and there you are. Yeah, if any keep that one extended, it looks nice. <laughs> Otherwise, it's like, what are we doing? It's like a little ballerina. Good. You guys are awesome. Uh, So those that are still staying in this hip hang, hip hang you've got a hundred percent permission to just stay. We've got a couple more minutes before Shavasana. That's fine. Those that want a couple of stretches just to ease into some of the, those tight spots that we discovered, kind of ease that spot. What you're going to do is take fabric in front of you. We're stepping right foot forward, left foot back. So from here, let the arms go forward. Pyramid pose. You choose if the front toes lift or not. That includes calf, but it can feel like it jams the heel bone. So it just depends on your body. Turning the toes to the left, long edge of the mat. Wide angle, hop, forward, hold. And toes back forward. Right elbow drops down, pointing to the ground. Left arm swings over to that right side. It should be front door side. Yeah. Good, straighten both arms. Switch the feet, so back foot steps forward, front foot steps back. Relax for a few breaths in here a minute. You lifted the toes before, lift them now. Lift the toes to the right long edge. Forward, drop the left elbow to point down to ground, and the right straight arm sways over toward backward side. Uh, forward, pull those legs super strong, then the knees roll up. Here we choose our Shavasana. So maybe we're laying on the ground today, feeling that really earth centered connection. Maybe we're coming up to the top, leave it out so you can take the flying shavasana. So you choose your shavasana just based on what your body wants. How about that? Five grips. Take you about to the floor. That's the, yep, facing forward just like that. About five grips will take you to the center of the pocket. Good, and then head under plumb line to, to softly come in. Got it. You're very welcome. So those that want to stop swinging, just tell me. I can always stop. I'm, I'm here. But as we're heading to these last couple of minutes, 
with the eyes closed, kind of imagine you could tune back into that seed that we've been working on, the soft seed. Notice if from the stretching, the playfulness, if from all these qualities, just notice if perhaps that seed has softened. Maybe you've shed the hard shell, or at least parts of it. And sometimes when we start to crack through that shell, feelings like sorrow start to come up. Because that's why we created the shell in the first place. Sorrow, trauma, losing confidence, these kinds of things. So if you experience any of that sorrow, breathe through it because this is the chance to help that energy transform. And if not, just be with this seed, meeting it with every breath you have. Deep inhales and exhales for the next few minutes. Just relax, just enjoy it, just breathe. So here, let's begin to deepen our inhales. Our exhales. We 
introduce little movements back to the fingers and toes. Ankles and wrists. Perhaps you'll start to take the arms all the way to the back wall, letting shoulders go right and left a couple of times. Those that want to do a fetal position, keep the body long, but roll onto one hip, one hip sex on top of the other. And from here, you can curl in like a tight little ball. Arch the spine all the way back, almost like a magnificent cat-cow undulation. But usually do two or three to one side, eventually flipping over two or three to help balance out my spine to the other direction. You feel ready, sooner or later, make our way up to a comfortable seated place. Here with hands at our heart. Tune back into that seed one more time. Feeling how much softer it is now, perhaps, than when we first arrived. Feeling like we're a little bit more willing to head to those qualities of trust, hope, and love. That we don't have to keep that protective shell all around those things, the conditions. A little bit more willing to be soft. So with this type of seed to help lead us forward, let's wrap up the time we shared together the sound of oh deep in hell now. May we be filled with light, happiness, and peace. Namaste.